Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Phone charging. Good God. Oh, hallelujah. Yes, no he is so mighty. There is no one like the Lord God. Oh, Amen. We're going to praise him today. We're going to praise him. Yes. Lord, and so forever him. we'll give him all the praise. Oh, praise him. Because he's an awesome God. Hallelujah. He's never changed. If y'all know anyone that is going through or just, you know, that they need lifting up, have them to tune in. Send this to them, oh, hallelujah, as we worship and praise the Lord God in spirit and in truth. He's so powerful above all idols, above all addictions, above all other gods. But most of all, he is wonderful. Can you join in with us as we minister this song? Y'all come on, the song says this, listen, say
to him. Lift your hands to him and tell him. Lift your hands to him. Lift your voice to him and tell him. your God. We glorify your God. We magnify your God in the name of Jesus. Oh God, we invite your presence to this revival broadcast on today, oh God, on this worship winds, on this praise break winds, oh God. We need a breakthrough. We need more of you and less of us, oh God, in the name of Jesus. So come on in, Holy Ghost and have your way. We've been feeling some kind of way, oh God, and we need you to be a lift of our head, oh God, lift of our spirits, oh God, in the name of Jesus. We come against every foul spirit, every demonic force, every principality of darkness, every ruler, every wicked king, in the name of Jesus, and we pull out every stronghold that the enemy has set up against us, in the name of Jesus. We are chosen vessels. We are daughters of Zion. We are your people. We are the people of your, we are the sheep of your pasture. We are your chosen vessels in the name of Jesus. So, so God, give us a breakthrough that we so need, desperately need, oh God, in the name of Jesus. 
going through the cares of life. And God, we need this breakthrough. We need a praise break Wednesday. We need to worship you. We want to worship you in spirit and in truth because you declared in your word, they that worship you must worship you in spirit and in truth. We're not worshiping you for what you've done for us. We're not worshiping for the things that you've given us to us. We want to worship you because you are God and God alone. You are the Alpha. You are the Omega. You are the beginning and the ending. You are the author and finisher of our faith. Without you, we have no being. Without you, we have no life. Without you, we could not exist. So God, we want to take out the time today to worship you in, your, in the beauty of your holiness, oh God. In the name of Jesus, casting all all our cares, uh, all every last one of our cares uh, upon you because you declare that you care for us, oh God, uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, oh God, we lay all at your feet, uh, all our situations, uh, all our circumstances, uh, all our heavy burdens, all our weights, uh, we lay them at your feet. Uh, somebody may have talked about us, uh, talked rudely to us, oh God, uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, we lay them at your feet right now, uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, we have people that are praying against us. Uh, we put them on your throne room, oh God. We put them at your feet, oh God. In the name of Jesus, oh God, we see the situation that this world is in. We put that at your feet right now. In the name of Jesus, we lay all our cares upon you. In the name of Jesus, and we come against every foul spirit, every witchcraft worker, every dark spirit. In the name of Jesus, and we bind you right now by the finger of God, by the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus, Every sickness, every ailment, we come against you right now and we cancel your assignments in the name of Jesus. High blood pressure, low sugar pressure, in the name of Jesus. Everything that will hinder us from getting a praise through, from getting our breakthrough on today, we give it to God on today. In the name of Jesus, high glory to God. In the name of Jesus, oh, we cast everything at your feet. In the name of Jesus, lift us a hung down head on today. In the name of Jesus. Oh God, we come against the spirit of suicide. In the name of Jesus. We come against the spirit of robbery, against the spirit of murder. In the name of Jesus. Everything that would cause a division in our families, in our home, in our nation, we come against it right now. In the name of Jesus. And we want to show forth your praise in the earth, oh God. In the name of Jesus. Oh God, we just bless you right now. We give you glory right now. We magnify you right now because you are Lord are worthy. You're worthy of all praise. You're worthy of all glory, honor. Oh God, we magnify you. We lift you up for all the world to see because you declared in your word, if you be lifted up, you would draw all men unto you. Oh God, draw on today, save on today, deliver on today, and we worship you in spirit and in truth. In Jesus' name we pray. We thank you, God. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Father God. Amen, amen. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hey, I'm Osha. Hallelujah, God. Hallelujah, Have your way, God. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, Oh, we came to give you, we came to give you an opportunity to praise God on today. And we ourselves need a breakthrough on today. We we need a breakthrough on today. We've been feeling heavy. We we, we ourselves been feeling away. We, we want to be transparent, but we need a breakthrough also. So we come and join you in, in worshiping God in spirit and in truth on today. So come on, get your breakthrough. Come on, get your joy back. Come on, get your peace of mind back on today. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, God. Woo. Oh, hallelujah. Hey, Lord, Say so, woman of God. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Woo. Thank you, God. Oh, hallelujah. If you're heavy in your spirit, oh, hallelujah. Hey, if you're you know. feeling like, what's next? If hey. you're thinking, what? If it was one thing, it's another. People on, going now. around acting like boo boo. People not doing what they supposed to do. You not doing what you supposed to do. <laughs> I mean, it's just like, well, Lord, what next, God? Oh, this is the time. 
Yes. Say so, woman of God. That's when you're supposed to praise the Lord God even in more. In spite so. of what's going yes. on. In spite yes. of what's going on. Yes, Woo. yes. Even when people done act like they done lost every bit of their sins, you still <laughs> got to praise the Lord God. You got to praise Woo. God at all times. Yes. Oh, hallelujah. Let yes. everything that have breath praise ye the now. Lord. Oh, Woo. praise ye the Lord. Under you got to praise him in the good time. You got to praise him praise. in the bad time. You got to praise him. Oh, hallelujah. Through the sickness, through illness, you got to praise him through grief and sorrow. You got to praise him when people not acting right. Oh, hallelujah. You got to praise him when you done sat there and did the wrong thing. Oh, <laughs> hallelujah. You got to praise him and say, Lord God, I'm sorry. And come on. Oh, hallelujah. But today, the woman of Ooh. God was on it. It was just like, I don't know what it is, but like we've been fighting it off. Spiritual warfare is yeah. real. It is real. And you can feel it. Yeah. It just won't work. Yeah. 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 It's not gonna work. It won't work. It will not work. God says that any weapons that uh, are formed against us shall not prosper. Shall oh, not yeah. prosper. That every oh hallelujah, God will handle every single thing, every attack, everything. You hear me? And that oh hallelujah, and that gives you joy. That gives you so much joy. <coughs> <clears throat> know that God got it. And so when Amen. you're feeling that, well, you'd be like, what in the world? What in the world is going on? And you're like, Jesus, you praise him. Yeah. You praise him. And so Amen. today, oh, hallelujah, it's a perfect day for a praise day and that's coming before the Lord, praising him through through it all. Oh, hallelujah. However, Amen. before I um actually, I'm going to play this song first and God gave me this scripture. Y'all can find it too. It's First mm -hmm. Corinthians is 13 and I'm going to read it after this because that's what's needed in these days and times love that I got yes. love, that unconditional love yes. Oh, yes. have you told people you love them today have you treated people with love if you haven't uh -huh. oh hallelujah before tonight is over with, I'm going to say before the next five minutes is over with <laughs> go tell somebody you love them go text somebody and tell them that you love them but let them know that you love them Oh, we gonna play this song. I Love you too. I was telling my bishop and first lady, I love y'all too. Amen. You are here, moving in a mist. I worship you. I worship you. You are here, working in this place. I worship you. I worship you. I worship you. 
Thank you, Father God. Hallelujah. Yeah. He is a way maker. He is a way maker. He's a promise keeper, miracle worker, light in the darkness. That is who he is. Your life may be dark right now, but God is a, is a way maker. He's a promise keeper. He's a light in the darkness, in your darkness. When you, when he'll make a way out of no way for you. He's a promise keeper. Whatever promise God gave you, he will keep it. God is not a man that he should lie, neither the son of man, that he's going to have to repent. Amen. Had he not spoken, and shall he not make it good? Uh-uh. He's not like us. God going to keep his word. Yes, he will. Say it again. God will do it. God will do it every single time. Just like he promised the devil, he's gonna he gonna put him in hell. That's where he's going. He promised a way to salvation. He gave he gave it to us through the body of Jesus Christ. He said he will not, I will not have you ignorant. He keep exposing the plots and plans of the devil. He's worthy. Praise him just because. Just praise God just because. If you're saved, praise him because he saved you. If you feel with the Holy Ghost, praise him because he feel we fill you with the Holy Ghost. Yes. Praise him for his word. Praise him because of his, of his goodness, of his mercy. Jesus. Praise him because you got eyes to see with. Praise him because you got hands to clap. Yes. Praise him because you got feet to walk on. Yes. Many people don't have what you got. You got you can find something to praise God about. Mm. He woke you up this morning. Amen. Uh, oh, hallelujah. He woke you up. It's shit. Use your mic, baby. It shouldn't be like it shouldn't be like trying to pull teeth to get Amen. people to go give a praise to the Lord God to say thank you before yeah. we even get up. Lord God, I thank you for waking me up. God, I thank you for having my right mind. Come on Lord now. God, I thank you, God, for keeping me safe. I yeah. thank you, God. Oh, hallelujah, for being my healer, my comforter, yeah. my provider. Oh, oh, oh dear yeah. God, 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 I see I'm not yay. Lord, I thank you, God, for being my healer, my deliverer. Yeah. Oh, 
hallelujah. God is a healer. He is yes. a deliverer. Oh, hallelujah. Yes. He just ask, just ask him. Uh -huh. Come on now. Oh, yes. Praise him in the morning. Praise him in the noon day. Oh, hallelujah. Praise him throughout the day. Yes. I get back. I just like, Lord God, I thank you. I be finding thanks in so many things. Thank you, Lord God. It could be some of the smallest things. Just thank you, God, because thank even you, the smallest things is yes. not small because, yes. oh, mm, because God allowed you to have it. He allowed us to have things. You see what I'm saying? He allows it. So many times people get so religiously deep to where they can't praise God. They think that they know everything. They think that all this and a bag of potato chips, they don't lost humility. They done lost meekness and they make it about them. They think that they know everything. They be eisegies in the text instead of exegies in it. They be taking stuff out of content. Then some people, they want to take excerpts and say, I'll take this part and not use that part. Oh, we're supposed to praise him. Oh, praise him. Praise him for everything. Oh, hallelujah. Let everything that have breath praise ye the lord mm, I see you, woman of god i yes. mean, I told you this testimony though but i want to share it today it was a woman to in our hospital when um the, the the church the missionaries they they sent this out you know when somebody is sick or whatever uh -huh. they send the missionaries out and we go to the different hospitals and this particular day i went with um dr lucinda uh, mobley and so we went to the hospital to visit somebody i and we went into the room we were looking for it, and the nurse said oh she hasn't, she's been like in a coma. She's been asleep. She's been, uh, she hasn't had any visitors because of her family. When people in their family, when she would get, they would get like that, they wouldn't come because they said the next thing is death. And they did not want to see their baby sister laying mm -hmm. in the hospital in that type of condition. Oh, and God. so they weren't there. And so the son asked us if we could, the pastor. And so we were doing routes and, and you know, over there to go and see her and everything and so uh when i walked in i have never in my life seen so many ivs in somebody oh she had all kind of ivs she had stuff going in her that looked like green cement concrete Jesus. mix it was and then it was like she had they had her on the uh, what do you call it life support system and mm -hmm. it was breathing and it it had that smell, you know, that medicine yes. dust smell and that she was all blown up and you couldn't mm -hmm. tell who she is. And we were sitting over there looking at her, trying to make her out. And we just said, we don't know who she is, though, but we're going to pray for our sister. But then when I walked in, God says, don't touch her. Mm. Because sometimes spiritual warfare is real. Yeah. Sometimes yes, is. you cannot touch something. Or God, if God tells you not to touch somebody, don't touch them. Yes. If he tells you to pray for a distance, you better pray for a distance because he's giving you that for reason and for purpose. And then there's some demons that are smart that know yes. what shape you're in and know whether or not if they can get up in you or not, or they have yes. like a spirit that they want to go from one person to another you see what i'm saying so if god gives you instructions you better not touch yes. okay and so i poured he says pour anointing oil over her head so as she laid there i was i poured the anointing oil over her head and it started going down in the face and so dr lucinda she took the tissue and she was getting it up all, off where it was running down on her face because i couldn't touch and so she um so when we got ready to pray she laid hands but i held my hands over like god told me to and then i says wait a minute because god says tell her her healing is in the praise oh no oh, yes, I got yes, yes, yes yes and so i bent down and i says woman of god god just told me to tell you that you're healing oh yes it's in the praise and god wants you to praise him 
And so we pray, she prayed. And so then we sat down. And so we started singing praise songs. You know, mm -hmm. we didn't put it in the chair or anything because it just looked at, oh. So we sat in the windowsill, right? And uh -huh. so we sitting there and we just praising the Lord God and seeing praise songs, like how you and I be doing uh -huh. when, we, when man, we come man. up in here early or whatnot. And so we're just singing the songs unto the Lord. And then God, he said, go over and tell her the valley, the story of the valley of dry bones. Mm -hmm. And then tell her that I said to pick up thy bed and walk. Oh, uh -huh. you gotta see. So I walked over there and I started telling her the story and I bent down and, you know, and I was like this, but keeping the distance because I didn't know what it was that she had, but still covered in the blood. We got to use wisdom, you know? And so I'm sitting there and I'm whispering and talking loud enough. You laughing at me, <laughs> Me and audience, and, well, and tell, we got to use common sense. Too, yes, you I know, know what I mean. We uh -huh. got to, we got to, and don't we can't be going around thinking we all this in a bag of potato chips. You got to use wisdom and listen to the God. Yeah. You got to multitask and you know, yeah. in your thinking, cognitive processing. And so, I'm doing what God is saying, and I'm telling her the story of the value of dry bounds. And she's still, and like, because she hasn't been moved in days or anything. And I says, but then after I told her, because, and I said, God said that if a valley, a dead dry bone, dead dry bones can come back to life, you not dead. You still got life in you. Oh, I got to see, and this is for somebody that's watching this too. Come on, this is for somebody, or she got to see. God is telling me that's gonna hear it for yeah. this for your healing because you've been yeah. sick too long. You've been yeah, sitting there yeah. saying, "I'm sick. I got this disease. I got that." Taking on every single thing that the come doctor on, told you that you have, and God is saying that He is here to heal. Or she got to see and to deliver and set you free. Or she I gotta see, and then he's saying for you not to go back and re rope yourself. And for that person, yes, I'm gonna go and read that scripture. But before I read that scripture, God is giving me this to go on and say, Go, I gotta see, and I got to be obedient to the Lord God. I'm just that crazy, I'm crazy about the Lord God. I'm gonna do what the God tells me to do. So I'm sitting there, and so I said, So God said that if a valley of dead, dry, bones can come back to life then the god said for you to pick up thy bed and walk oh, uh -huh. da, 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 see. oh hallelujah thank you lord see hallelujah god is saying this as lazarus was able to rise up from his from yeah. being dead or she gotta see there are people people because y'all got to see that are, are dead spiritually they're dead yes. emotionally uh -huh. they're dead or she got to see oh, yeah. and god says that you can pick up your bed and walk too what are she yes. got to see but the woman of god she started moving her body just inching back little bit by little bit taking the palm of her hand back and, she, and we started just praising the Lord, saying, thank you, Jesus, thank you, God, and hallelujah, and just praising the Lord, God. And then she sat all the way back up. And then what she did, she did this. She looked this way and opened her eyes, and she turned and looked like this, man. We had been praising God so much that everybody had ran in there to see what was going on. And they said, she's awake, she's awake. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, thank you god thank you lord thank you god the the next day dr lucinda she called me she says are you coming to the hospital with me god says don't go today i says no not today and she called that sunday she, i says no and then she says well i'm not coming out here and i says well god is telling me to go on monday so i went out there with another missionary mother and we went out there and you know what we got there i recognized her 
I knew who the woman was. She didn't have no ID. <laughs> she had all the swelling was gone because she was so swollen up. She looked like she was about 300 pounds. My but God. she was down to something like, look, her size, something like about 120, 30 pounds. Little bitty old thing. Oh there up on the edge of the bed, looking all around, talking about they checking her out the hospital. <laughs> and that her family walked in the room and said they never seen this before. When the hospital called and said, that she was awake they got mm -hmm. the next plane out there and came oh, no. down oh she got to see and they said never the mother died this way she said that her sister died that way they started naming the different people mm -hmm. by this time god he's is, her brother's sitting there god told me it's on him and, ah. and, stuff. and i started praying for him and god was giving me a prophetic word to give to him and his sister started screaming and saying don't nobody know this except for the lord god oh and so who do you gotta see and then god says pray against the family curse because it's a family curse and so we prayed up against him however that god healed that woman yes. it was in the praise mm. it was in the praise it was her it receiving is. and hearing the word of god yeah. and and responding to the word of god yeah, and that's what god wants us to do he wants us to respond to the word of god we yeah. cannot take a bit of it a piece of it a portion of it we got to take all of it just like when our mothers would give us a bowl of chicken noodle soup or some medicine she says eat all of it down to the last drop mm -hmm. and so when we couldn't go leave something she because they she they had our best interest they wanted us whole yeah. they wanted us healed God is our father. He is our creator. He created the heavens and the earth. Amen. God made man in his image. The Lord Amen. God made us from the dust. So they know God, the father, son, and Holy Ghost. Trinity know what we need. Yes. They know that we not only need physical food, but we need spiritual food. Oh, And we have to keep our spirits fed. And then yeah. I, when we, God is feeding us, we supposed to show appreciation. Yeah. Didn't your mama, didn't your daddy tell you when somebody to do something or did something for you to say thank you? Yeah. Did they not tell yeah. you to say thank you? Yes, and then did. when you didn't, the elders and the elders of the church be like, that's a sassy child there. Uh -huh. Oh, that's a rude child. They don't even know how to say, no, thank you. Their mom and daddy haven't taught them anything. We, you, got, and, yeah, we got chastened. We yes. got chastised we got by the elders of the church. So yeah. what do you think God is going to do? When people can't thank him, when people uh, can't praise him, just because you're going to go through a little bitty thing, you'd be about to fall out and die. Oh, Lord God, what am I going to do? Uh, oh, go on. Just go on. People, when they get saved in the church, they get they get soft. They'll get like a marshmallow, just soft. Mm -hmm. Oh, they hurt my feelings or they said toughen up come back with the word of god if god gives you a word to say say it if he tells you to be quiet be quiet but the Man. thing about it if you what is it in matthew it says takes violence by force it doesn't mean to be 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 um be mean but uh -huh. we are supposed to be soldiers of christ Man. it doesn't mean that we supposed to just be a sap sucker or go around like boo boo the fool is written on our forehead right we have to act like we got sense we have have to not just act but we have to have common sense we have to have manners we have to be able to show appreciation to our lord god savior jesus christ to the lord god almighty of the heavens and the earth god of abraham isaac and jacob the almighty god you hear me the almighty god uh, and yeah, some of you got to be like tough teeth and just sit back there all frowned up don't want can't even raise your hand can't say hallelujah why are they over there doing all of that dancing why every time you turn around every sunday she running around the church let the woman run Amen. let her run for the lord yeah. oh they keep too much noise up in that church did it not say make a joyful noise unto the lord all ye yeah. lands does it yeah. not say that 
But mm. people so religiously deep, you're gonna die and go straight to hell if you don't know if you, if you don't stop eisegesis in the text and take the text in the way that it was written to praise God at all times to love one another. I don't know what God had me going all of this way because the only thing I was gonna do is read this. So I'm getting ready to read it now, and I pray. I pray in the name of Jesus that whoever that word was for, or if it's somebody that's watching, that knows somebody that, that's like, every time you turn around, there's a complaint. They act like they can't make it. Let them watch it. Let them know to praise God at all times. Tell them to stop speaking death. Stop speaking things on you. God has given us power of life and death in our tongue, in our mouth. And also do not allow anybody to speak negativity on your life. It if somebody that. comes up and say something that, that you, I mean, that you're not doing or, or something that can happen to you, you better say, I rebuke that in the name of yeah. Jesus. I yeah. shall live and not die. I yeah. rebuke that happening to me. I cast that right back to the pits of hell. Don't you yeah. come up there saying stuff like that out your mouth about me and you let them know. If you're going to speak life or keep your name out my mouth, speak life. Man. Don't be praying prayers against people. These imprecatory prayers. Oh, Lord, God, show them this. Oh, Lord, God, teach them that. Teach them that. Oh, Lord, God, don't give them no rest. Witchcraft. And I mm -hmm. talked about that the other day. And God got me right back here again today. So evidently, it's some folks going around mm -hmm. saying, Lord, God, make this happen to that person. <laughs> Witchcraft, you're, you're being a witch. My God. And not a saint of God. Mm. Repent. Repent. And you pray, Lord, God, they hurt my feelings. Or they hurt me. Or, Lord, God, I don't understand something that mm -hmm. they've done. And so, Lord, I'm giving you the situation, God, because I don't know, Lord, God. Yeah. And then you have some people, woman of God, do you know what they try to do? They try to critique every single thing that you say. Yep. And that Amen. they try to go back and find, oh, did she say this? Or let uh -huh. me go back and research this. Oh, I don't see it here. I don't see this. Well, when did you say this or whatever? I mean, stop it. You're yeah. wasting time trying mm -hmm. to go and prove something. Why are you trying to prove it? The only thing you have to do is to go to ask God, Lord God, the person have said this, Lord God, tell me what I need to do. If you mm -hmm. don't know, if you don't hear, go to God, go yes. to God on it, and He will give you clarity. Holy Amen. Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Amen. I said everything that you will have me to say, no more, no less, Lord God, Amen. in the name of Jesus, God. Love. Yes, I love y'all and God loves you too. That's why he had me to say that because he wants you to live and not die. He wants you to come up to the um, to the new kingdom. Yes, and have Man. a Holy Ghost party. Yes, Man. he wants you to go get that white robe and stone with your ne yeah. new name on it. Oh, yeah. hallelujah. Yes, okay, I'm coming from 1 Corinthians 13, New Living Translation. Love is the greatest. If I could speak all the languages of the earth and of the angels, but didn't love others, I would only be a noisy gong, a clinging symbol. If I had the gift of prophecy, and if and if I understood all of God's secret plans and process all knowledge, and if I had such faith that could move mountains, but I didn't love others, mm. I would be nothing. If I gave everything to the poor and mm -hmm. even sacrificed my body and I could boast about it, but if I didn't love others, mm. I would be nothing. Love is patient mm -hmm. love and kind. Love is patient and kind. Love is not jealous or boastful or proud. It does not demean in its own way. It is not irritable. And it keeps no record of being wrong. Mm -hmm. It does not rejoice about injustices, but rejoice whenever the truth wins out. Uh -huh. Love never gives up, never loses faith. It's always mm -hmm. hopeful and endures through every circumstance. 
prophecy and speaking in unknown languages and special knowledge become useless, but love will last forever. Amen. Now for our knowledge is partial and incomplete. And even the gift of prophecy reveals only part of the whole picture. But when the time of perfection comes, mm -hmm. these partial things will become useless. When I was a child, mm -hmm. I spoke and I thought and reasoned as a child. But when I grew up, I put away childish things. N now we see things imperfectly, like puzzling reflections in a mirror. But then when we see everything with clarity, all that I know now is partial and incomplete. Mm -hmm. But then I will know everything completely, just as God knows everything completely. Three things will last forever, faith, hope, and love. And the greatest of these is love. All to God. Amen. Be all the Amen. Glory. Amen. Oh, hallelujah. To God be all the glory. Yeah. Oh, Pastor Davidson, did you have anything that you wanted to say before we play this next song? Amen. Amen. The reason why the world is in the condition that it's in, this is what God gave me. Because the world is so self-centered. And, and the world it used to be that was a time when the saints would really praise God from their hearts. Mm. Now the, the saints are more enveloped in, in the things of the world. And Romans, tw uh, Romans 12 and 2 says, and be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. Mm -hmm. There was a time when the saints would tear up a church, praising God on a Sunday. We would we, we go in for 11 o'clock service, get out by 3 or 4 o'clock. Now they're timed it. You go in for 11, you get out by 12, 12, at the latest, 12.30. You don't give God a, a time to, to really come in and deliver. The world has lost focus mm. on giving God glory. There was a time when, when God was respected, when the name of God was respected. Now they're pushing God out of almost every place. Yes. And that's why we're in the condition that we're in because we've lost Focus on God. We will we will we will become self-centered, stiff-necked, and hard-hearted, and rebellious. Mm. And God still trying. To, God loves us so much. He's still trying to get our attention. Yes, He is. He's trying so hard. And, and God is saying, "I just want you to love me. I love you." Because I proved it in John three sixteen. It says, "For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in Him should not perish but have everlasting life." That's how much He loves us. And, 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 and God has said, I just want you to praise me to show me how much you love me in praise and worship. Not praising, not, not singing songs that magnifying you and magnifying what you what you did, what you're getting ready to do. Don't, 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 don't testify, oh, I did this, I got this job. No, give God glory. God bless you with this job. Yes. God, God saved me. People don't, don't, they don't want even a lot of testimony service anymore mm. for people to give God glory and praise and honor anymore because mm. they don't teach people how to how to testify so they they, they swept the, the testimony service to the side because said, all i want to do is, you, is for you to praise me praise with the fruit of your lips praise with all that you got that's what god is saying all i want is, all i want is a praise mm. i inhabit the praise i inhabit the praise of my people i want to come and live with you through your praise, the more you pray, well, I found out years ago, the more we praise him, the more I praise him, <laughs> the more he came in. <laughs> and the more he came in, the more I praise him. I was a time in service, every time a song came, every time they played a song, I was up there, on, on, up there in front, praising God. Amen. I played, I used to play the drum and the Holy Ghost would take over. I went one way and the drum six was the other because I couldn't stand it no more, I had to get up off the drums because I knew where God had brought me from. I could say, I could sit here and tell you where God brought me from, but we don't have, I'm not gonna take out the time, but I know, where, I know where God brought me from and I'm so grateful. I'm so very grateful. I could, I'd be walking down the stairs and I may stumble, I say, and I, I catch myself, I say, God, thank you. That I could have fallen out all of the stairs. Right, right, yeah. But I think, I said, thank you, Lord, for, keep, for helping me keep my balance. Amen. 
in the small thing, God God loves that when, when we praise him in the small thing, not because of the big thing so much, but in the very little thing. If he if he if he takes care of the sparrows, the little bitty itty bitty sparrows, and he let them live and he provide for every one of them need because why all they do is sing praises to him. And 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 we can give God a praise just for the small things. Amen. Say so. Amen. Say so. Say so. Woman of God, for someone that might just be watching this for the first time, how would they go about doing that? What should they, you know, say, do you have like an example that you can give them as far as what they can do? Just, just say, thank you, Lord. Say, thank you, God. Thank you for just for, for giving me breath. Mm -hmm. Even if you're not saying you can still think, tell God, thank you. Yes, thank he you. hears you. Yes. He, 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 God's, God's ear, ear is attentive to every word that we speak because we got to give it a count for every word that we speak anyway. So why not, why not have it down when where, where, where she praised me, she gave, they gave me glory. So just say, God, I thank you. I don't, I don't know you, but I still thank you. And once you get saved, once you give your life to the Lord, and you'll be able to person do that. Amen. Romans 10 verses 8, 9, and 10. If you confess with your mouth and believe in your heart the Lord Jesus and God raised him from the dead, you shall be saved. Mm -hmm. But with the heart, with the mouth, confession is made unto salvation. And with the heart, you believe it. So that's how you can be, become saved. It's not nothing, it's not something so spiritually deep that you can't get saved. That's what the word says. Uh, just you know that some church state churches don't teach that. I was in a church for 13 years of my life and people were, they said, is there anybody going to get saved? Nobody was teaching what it was. I didn't learn it, what it meant until um, I joined another church when I was like 25 years old. Somebody finally broke it down and taught what it was. And because too, you can have some people that some churches and that, and this was back in the day and that they would have all these departments, but it was the men's department that was running the liquor house. And so I was like, well, why am I gonna go get saved? And I see them doing this or that or whatnot. And and I was like, so what's the difference? And so, you know, we we have to live that life of righteousness also because people's lives are at stake too. Amen. And also, and also, a lot of churches think that once you get the right hand of fellowship and you go sit in that chair in the front, that means you say, no, it don't. That's what that's what they taught when I was coming up. You go, you go to sit up in the chair. I mean, they open the doors to the church. You go sit in that chair. The preacher come down, you shake the hand, and, it, and you think you saved. Many people, many people were deceived by that because they didn't teach them anything. Yes. But read if you if you're not sure what I'm saying, get your Bible. Mm -hmm. Read Romans 10, verses 8, 9, and 10. Amen. And follow that pattern, and God said, You shall be saved. Amen. Amen. And a change will come in your life. Amen. And you know, everything is right on time too, because we prayed before we selected the songs and you would just be amazed at the sound is right now. And so all of you that are watching that do want to be closer to the Lord God, Oh, and that you've decided, Lord God, I believe that you are the son of God and that you died. And on the third day, you rose from the dead and confess your sins. Lord, I'm a sinner. Lord, yes. I've been sinning. Lord God, forgive me. And you say that. Yes. And step, you got to confess it with your mouth. And so you say that and then God will take you up in your his arms and everything and he'll clean you off he'll remove a little bit by little bit or he may remove it all at one time he uh, removed my stuff little bit by little bit uh -huh. and find the church find the word pastor davidson she's up here on sundays at um three eastern standard time uh -uh, no three. four eastern standard time and three central standard right. time and so um and then there's other churches too i post my church up here uh -huh. on sunday so but it's so uh, it, you pray and ask god yeah. where you should go 
However, I have this song that God helped us already pre-select out. And so y'all have a little talk of Jesus right now while, while the song is playing. Yes. Everything else can wait. Give me all. I hope we're not too late. Lord, give me you. Lord, give me you. Lord, give me you. Lord, give me you. Give me you. Everything else can wait. Lord, give me you. I hope I'm not too late. Lord, give me you. Lord, give me you. Lord, give me you. Lord, give me you. Cause it's me.
To God be all the glory. When um God was when when I'm sorry, when that was playing, I heard God say that there are those his his children, and that you have been doing the things that God has asked you. You've been meek. You've been humble. Or she got to see. You've been righteous. Sorry, got to see. You've been loving. You've been caring. You've been patient. You've been kind. You've even went through the extra to make sure that people have, and you love so. He says that in this season, he's taking you to a new place in him. Oh, that's Many of his blessings with spiritual gifts, or the laying on of hands, or to heal, or the gift of prophecy, or for when the communication lines are down and you can't get out, or you're going to be able to hear God. Yeah. Mm, see, like never before and know what to do and what not to do. He's going to give you forewarning, honey. When he tells you to stay, you stay. When he tells you to move, you move. When he tells you to be still, you be still. You don't try to think or rationalize it. You just be obedient to his voice. In the season that's coming up, he says, keep your eyes open and be aware of your surroundings. Be aware. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He's saying that many of the prophecies that he has given, even though some of them have already manifested, he says it's not over. That we're going to continue to happen. Gird up and wear the full armor of God before you go out. You be covered with the blood of Jesus from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet. Put on the full armor of God. So you know Ephesians 6, 10 through 18. Read that scripture and know it, especially you new converts. The last song that we're going to be playing is I mean, Jesus, I mean, it's no weapon, Fred Hammond, no weapon that is formed against me. We're going to play that song mm -hmm. last. However, at this time, I'm turning everything over to um, Pastor Cynthia Davison, and she will guide us from this point on. And she knows the song that we are playing last. So, um, Pastor Davison, I yield the line to you. I speak peace to the troubled mind right now. I speak peace to the troubled mind right now. I speak joy to that depressed person right now. The one that's about to take your life because you feel nobody loves you, that all your family has rejected you, that you're, you're, no, you're not loved by anyone. God says he does. And I speak, I speak peace, I speak joy to you even now in the name of Jesus. The pressure you got to go from that person. The pressure you must flee because they are covered in the precious blood of Jesus the Christ. I command you by the power and authority of the Holy Ghost even now. You spirit of witchcraft, you, you demonic force, I command you to go in the name of Jesus. Loose your hold off their mind. Loose your hold off their body. You spirit of infirmity. You spirit of paralysis in the name of Jesus. They shall rise up and walk and declare the work of the Lord. They shall live and not die. Death, you have been whispering in their ear too long. Take your leave and go right now in the name of Jesus. I command you by the authority of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus. That rest in me. Mm, Jesus, yes. The spirit of bullying mm. want to have your way trying to make people bow down to you. Mm. I command you to go in the name, in the name of, of Jesus. Lord, Lord. Spirit of fear mm, I command you to go right now in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Lord, yes. Spirit of hypochondria mm. 
Mm, go in the name of Jesus, because you don't have what you say you have. Exactly. The devil been lying to you too long. Mm. You don't have cancer. You don't have diabetes. Oh, you been listening to too many people telling you your mama had it, your grandma had it. No, you don't have it mm. because you're chosen by God. You don't even have the effects of it. You've been lying to yourself too long mm. because you've been listening to the enemy for too long. Because you've been chosen by God. And what you've been doing is trying to run mm, mm. from the call that God has on your life. Mm. Saying, I can't do it. Yes, you can. Even if you did have it, you'd still be able to do it. Mm. Moses had a stuttering problem. Mm. Elijah had a fear problem. David had a, a, a problem with adultery. But God used him in a mighty way. Abraham had a lying spirit. Mm. But God used him. He was a father of many nations. And God can use you the same way. Spirit of fear mm. in that woman. Spirit of fear in that man. Spirit of fear in that child. Mm. Loose your hold off of them. Spirit of abuse. Come out of that man. Come out of that woman. Abusing your spouse. Abusing your child. Abusing your neighbors. I command you in the power of the Holy Ghost. Come out in the name of Jesus. Come out. You lying devil, come out, spirit of witchcraft, in the name of Jesus. I command you by the power and authority of the Holy Ghost. And no spirit of retribution shall come nigh me or prophet his body in the name of Jesus. Spirit of loneliness. God said he will never leave you nor forsake you. Has never been lying to you too long. You're not alone. You're not lonely. God is right there with you in spite of yes. what you're going through. God is right there seeing about you, providing for everyone else needs. You are not lonely. Mm. The devil is lying to you. Mm. Sometimes it's better to be alone mm. than being in a band of wickedness. Yes. Yes. In the name of Jesus, I speak these things over the listeners. Yes. The ones who are watching, the ones who are going to watch it. Mm. In the name of Jesus. And I command that retribution spirit that's trying to do things that God has not sanctioned you to do, trying to pay, repay evil with evil. Mm. In the name of Jesus' husband, ex-husband, ex-wife, go back to your corner and leave them alone. Mm. They're living a life that God has called them to live. You have no place in their life any longer. So go back and leave them alone. Leave me in peace, devil. No weapon formed against him shall prosper. And every tongue that rises up against him, God shall condemn. They're covered in the blood. In Jesus' name. Amen. And God said that that person that had that depression, God says not to use death anymore as an excuse. Amen. As an excuse. So yes. Mm, see the word of God said what the dead bury the dead yes thank you God thank you woman of God Lord God in the mighty name of Jesus please will be for virtue back in Pastor Davidson for all the
Thank you, Jesus. You are 
Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Mm. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Come, 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 Mm, Jesus, woman of God, I hear God saying to that He is well pleased with the worship. Who do you check out of on today? Hey, yeah. And He's waiting and He's going to wait for people to come to Him and to have yeah. Mm. Mm. Jesus. Amen. Amen. Whoo. <laughs> I know we have. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. <laughs> Glory to God. We needed this today. We needed this, me and you and all those who are listening now and the ones who are going to listen later on. We, we really needed this for today yes. and for the days upcoming. But this won't be the last time. Mm -hmm. This won't be the last time. We needed this refresh. We needed this, this, this marinate today. Yes. Amen. Amen. Is there be nothing else? Now unto him who was able to keep us from falling, to reveal bring us false and for his glory. The only wise God be dominion, power, and majesty both now and forevermore in Jesus' name. Amen. And we love you. Amen. I love you. I love y'all. Be blessed to the Lord. Amen. Tomorrow, War Room Thursday. Amen.